Hello guys, I hope you are doing really, really well. In today's video, I am going to show you an amazing alternative to Excel and Google Sheets that you can use on Android tablets and it's powered by AI. Name of the tool is Quadratic AI and you can use it completely free for personal use. It's accessible through web browser. So let's get started. First of all, a big thank you to Quadratic for sponsoring this video. So first of all, you have to select this open quadratic option. It will ask you to log in with your account. After login, you will see this dashboard. And here you can see we have this new file option. So if you select it, it will open this spreadsheet. And here you can start working with all the necessary tools. The first feature is about analyzing data set using AI. So for example, I will open this my files folder in split screen and here I have this CSV file. Now I want this CSV file inside my spreadsheet so I can easily drag and drop this CSV file inside my quadratic spreadsheet. And now you can see all the data set is available inside my spreadsheet. And on left side, you can see we have this built in AI section. Now you can use AI to ask anything about this data set. The data set that I have is about patient treatment response for personalized cancer therapy. So I want to analyze the correlation between treatment type and specific side effects. So I will start asking AI. So I will start writing my prompt over here. And then I will send this prompt. The best part is it has this built-in Python with native AI. So it will start writing a Python code to analyze the data set. And here you can see it creates this amazing heat map visualization and place it on spreadsheet. Now you can see this color intensity indicates the percentage of patients experiencing specific side effects for each treatment type. Now I can easily identify which side effects are most common for each treatment type. You can also review and edit the Python code. So you have to select this Python from here. Then you have to select this arrow. And here we have this open code editor option. So I will select it. And then here you can see on right side, it will open this code editor. So here you can edit the code as well. So quadratic will give you a method of analysis that you can review and edit. You can also use quadratic built in AI to generate data set. For example, I want to generate a sample data set for diabetes risk and patient profile. So I will start writing my prompt. And then I will send this prompt. So AI will generate a sample data set for me. So here you can see AI generate this sample data set for diabetes risk and patient profile with different metrics. Now if you want you can also bring this data set to your notes. So I will open air command and then from here I will open smart select tool and then I will start selecting this data set. So here you can see I will select this data set. Now I want this data set inside my notes. So I will select these three dots and then from here I will select add to note and then I will select add to new note. So here you can see the same data set is now available inside my notes and now I can use it for my note taking. You can use AI to generate summary table. For example, here I have the sample data set about country's GDP with different metrics. And now I want to see the average GDP, inflation and unemployment rate with region name. So I will start writing my prompt. And then I will send this prompt. So AI will start analyzing my prompt and then it will generate a summary table. So here you can see the summary table has been generated with Python and AI. So this is the best alternative to manually creating pivot table. The interesting thing is if I change the data, it will automatically update the summary table as well. You can also use quadratic AI to build charts and dashboards. For example, I want to create a dashboard with multiple visualizations for this data set. So I already have my prompt. I will just paste it over here and then I will send this prompt. So the AI will start analyzing my prompt and then it will start generating multiple visualizations. So here you can see it generate this bar chart. And then here I have this pie chart. 
and then here you can see it generate this donut chart and here I have this horizontal bar chart and here I have this multi bar chart and here I have this scatter plot. So you can see AI generate these amazing visualizations for me. Now you can also use this visualization in your notes. So I will open the air command and then I will open smart select tool. And now for example, I want to select these four visualizations. So I will select them using my S Pen and then I will copy them. Now for example, I will open my notes and then from here I will open the edge panel and then I will select these visualizations and I can easily drag and drop them to my notes and later I can use them. The next feature is about code chat so you can make any changes inside your python code using code chat feature. For example I want to make some changes in this bar graph so I will select this python option and then I will select this arrow and then I will select open code editor. It will open this code editor on right side and here we have this code chat option. Now for example I want to change the color for this bar graph and then I will start writing my prompt so I will write here modify color to red and then I will send this prompt so the AI will start analyzing my prompt and then it will start making changes in this Python code you just have to wait for a few seconds and here you can see now I have a different bar graph with red color and now you can select this accept option then you can select this save and run and now I have a new bar chart with red color you can also edit Python code manually so for example I will open the code editor and now here I I will make some changes and now I will save and run and here you can see I made an error so here I have this option of fix in AI chat so I will select it so the AI will start analyzing my code and then it will start making the correction and then it will show you the final result you just have to wait for a few seconds so here you can see AI correct my mistake and now I will select this accept option and then I will select save and run and I have the same bar graph available. You can also do real time collaboration with your entire team. So here I have my dashboard for quadratic. I will select this members option and then you can start adding your team members. So here you can see you can add the email ID and you also have the option of can edit and can view and then you can invite them. You can also connect to various databases. So database connections are set up at team level. So your whole team has access to easily use SQL right inside Quadratic to pull the data you need and analyze it in seconds. Now let's talk about different tools. So here you can see we have this insert tab. So if I select it here you can see you can insert code. So inside code you have this python option, javascript, formula. Then we also have this chart option. Here we have this data option. If I select this format tab. So here you can see you have the option for number, date and time, text, alignment, wrapping and we also have other options available. You can also use other tools as well. Now let's talk about the pricing. So if you want to use the quadratic for your own data and analysis, it is completely free. You can also go for pro option and here we have this yearly and monthly subscription option available. And the next one is this custom for companies who need custom features and support. So if you are interested in quadratic, you can check out the link in the description below for more details. So this is Quadratic, the modern spreadsheet powered by AI. Whether you are analyzing data, automating workflows or just trying to save time, Quadratic AI makes it faster, smarter and way easier. Say goodbye to boring formulas and hello to effortless productivity. Try Quadratic today and experience how spreadsheets should work. So this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.